This is me starting my e-commerce journey on Shopify. I've got my product, I've got my plan, and now I'm ready to build. But then I hit the themes page. I don't want to spend money on a paid theme, so I'm looking at the free Shopify themes. But which one is the best? So there are only two free Shopify themes. The Dawn theme released in 2021, and Horizon team released in 2025. So all the other 22 options, they're just pre-designed variations of those two, Dawn and Horizon. So Shopify doesn't make that super clear, which can make it confusing, especially if you're new to Shopify. So yeah, at the end of the day, if you're looking for a free Shopify theme, you're choosing between those two templates. We have Dawn and we have Horizon. So all the others are just pre-designed templates, which are based based on either Dawn or Horizon. So I'll compare both the themes, so Dawn and Horizon, on both all the pre-designed templates, and I compare them section by section. And we're gonna start with the header, which is the top bar over here. And then we're gonna take a look at the homepage of both the pre-designed templates of Horizon and all the pre-designed templates of the Dawn theme. We're gonna take a look at the product pages of both the themes and much more. So let's first take a look at all the Dawn templates. So I have all the tabs open for all the different pre-designed Dawn templates and let's just quickly skim through them. And again, right now we're focusing on the header only. So this is the first option. So this is the second option. We have the third option, the refresh design. We have the so-called craft templates with a drop-down menu. We have the studio templates also with a drop-down menu, the write template with a drop-down menu, the taste template, origin with no menu items, also no menu items for the publisher template, then the crave template, spotlight, and rise template. I'm gonna quickly go back to the trade template and here you can see a so-called mega menu. It's a setting inside the Dawn editor where you can enable the mega menu. So this is the regular dropdown and this is the mega menu. And also as you can see the Dawn template also supports the so-called announcement bar, which you can tweak with different colors, sizes and fonts. So you can see this one, for example, as a different color, different font. Here you can link it as well. We can click on it if we want. Here is another example, another example another example, another one. This one has no announcement bar. This one does have an announcement bar. So as you can see different examples, you can style it to your liking. You can also see the mobile layout of the Dawn team, which looks fine as well. So now let's have a look at the pre-designed examples of the Horizon team. So firstly, as you can see here with the header, we got a transparent header option, something Dawn doesn't offer. Also in this example, you can see a mega menu option where you can add large image blocks. You can link to anything you want. And it works on mobile too. If we switch to mobile and if we scroll down here, here you can see the different images on mobile. You can scroll here if you want. And then over here with the transparent header, there's also the hover color effect when your mouse hover overs the menu items. And this is not possible in the Dawn team. Then there is the search bar. If we click on this search thing over here, it is much smarter. In Horizon, it shows product suggestions instantly. While if we switch to Dawn, so this is one of the Dawn templates, if we click the search thing over here, it just shows an empty search bar. Then another thing, back to the Horizon team, if we click the card icon over here, here we can see we can apply a discount code right at the card. No extra steps. If we take a look at the Dawn team, if we open the card here, there's no discount option available here. You have to do it later on in the process. So I'm now in the Shopify editor and in the Shopify editor, the homepage design. So what I mean by homepage design is basically everything below the header up until the footer. So all of this, what you can see over here up until this part, the footer, the homepage design falls below the template. So here we can see the header, which is this part over here. Then we have the so-called template, which is the homepage design. And then we have the footer. And the first thing I want to take a look at is the AI generated block, which you can see over here, which is one of Horizon's standout features that Don doesn't have. But before we take a look at the AI generated blocks, did you know that I'm building a Shopify course and you can get it for free right now at robinsnewsletter.com. So here is one lesson example of the course where I do a deep dive customization tutorial where I show every single step 
extra instructions where you can just copy paste custom CSS code, which I think is really handy for new Shopify users. So again, go to robinsnewsletter.com to get instant access to the course. So coming back to the AI generated blocks. So let's say we wanna add a section to our homepage. I'm gonna click on add section. I'm gonna click on custom section. And then over here, we can add a block. I'm gonna click on add a block. And then this block over here is the AI generator. And here we can already see some examples, large text filled with an image, a product card, a before after image slider. But let's just do a simple example. So I want a block with a headline, subtitle, and a button. I'm gonna click on enter. You can see it is generating the code over here. It usually takes like 30 seconds to complete. And after like 30 seconds, this is what it came up with. So you got all these settings over here. You can tweak the headline, the subtitle, the button tags, the button link, the layout, the colors, the fonts, the button style, etc., etc. I can also give follow-up instructions to tweak the AI block, and I can also reuse this same AI block somewhere else on my website. So for example, if I want to add this same AI block somewhere else, I'm gonna click on add a block. I'm gonna click on show all. I'm gonna scroll up, and here we can see the AI generated block we just created. So obviously this is just a really simple example, but let's take a more complex example. So this is a countdown timer app that a lot of people are paying for monthly. So here you can see some examples of the countdown timer, as you can see over here. And I just created that same countdown timer with the AI block generator. With all these settings, as you can see over here, we can tweak all these things. So this is something the Horizon team offers, but the Dawn team doesn't offer this feature. So then another thing where Dawn and Horizon differ from one another is the editor layout. So this is the layout, right? So if I click on add a section, in the Dawn theme, here we can see all these sections in the Dawn theme, which I can add to my homepage. But if we take a look at the Horizon theme, so this is the Horizon theme, if I click on add a section to my homepage over here, here we can see that the Horizons editor is way more organized. We have the banners, we have the collections, we have the forms, we have products, storytelling, etc. So again, this is the Dawn theme. All your sections are just in one big list. It's still functional, but not as clean as the Horizon theme. Then another thing, is the number of options. So here in the Dawn theme, so the number of different sections I can add to my homepage are roughly 17, if I counted that correctly. Horizon, on the other hand, gives you 28 different sections you can add to your homepage, plus the AI generator block you can use, which means you can basically create anything you want. So let's now take a look at the footers and let's start with the Dawn team. So if we scroll down, we can see the footer. So here we can see one example with the payment icons, social media links. You got an email sign up and some other links over here. Here we can see another Dawn example. Looks pretty good. Same thing, email, social media icons. Another Dawn example, another Dawn example. So a different color, same email sign up feature here, some menu items, social media links, another Dawn example, another one. So as you can see with tweaking the fonts, the colors, it gives an entirely different vibe. Another example, the email sign up here, another example, social media icons, email sign up, email sign up, some menu items, some information about their address. Again, similar look and feel, pretty minimalistic and also a pretty minimalistic footer over here. So those were the Dawn footers. Let's now take a look at the Horizon footers. So this is the first one, pretty similar than Dawn in my opinion. Second example, a bigger logo, but other than that, pretty similar email sign up, a big logo, some menu items, email sign up, social media icons, some menu items, email sign up, social media icons, pretty similar, right? Another horizon footer, menu items, social media icons. It's not really exciting to be honest. Another example, another example. And here we have another example, pretty similar. And here, another example. To be honest, the Dawn footers in terms of design were a little bit better. So for example, this Dawn one, this one looks pretty good to be honest. And similar with this one, it's I, I like these, these two. Pretty similar, but just a different color, some different fonts. I like the colors also with the gradient, it looks pretty cool. So this is the Dawn footer editor, and this is the editor inside Horizon. So although the Dawn footers, as you just saw, look really good, you can customize more, you have more options in Horizon. So there are more block types, more layout options, and of course the AI block is also possible inside the footer.
So then we have the product pages. And once again, Horizon offers more flexibility in the editor. So I won't go into every single difference between the Dawn product editor and the Horizon editor, but let's just have a look at a few examples. So if we go to the product editor, we're gonna click here, I'm gonna go to products, and we're gonna click the default product. So this is the Horizon product editor, and this is the Dawn product editor. So same product, but a different template. So one change they made inside the Horizon template is that now the add to car button and the quantity picker are side by side in Horizon which looks cleaner and saves space. If we take a look at the Dawn template, here we can see the quantity picker, and here we can see the add to car button. And you might think that's not a big deal, but especially on mobile, it pushes the buy now button more to the bottom of the page. And that's not what we want for a mobile experience. So if we take a look at the horizon templates, here we can see it's next to each other, it's just cleaner. So the second example is the pop-up flexibility. So for example, let's say I want to link to my return policy. I'm gonna click this plus icon. I'm gonna choose the pop-up link. So again, this is the horizon template. I'm gonna click pop-up link. So this is the Dawn template. Let's say we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click the plus icon. I'm gonna click on pop-up. So this is the pop-up link text. I'm gonna change it to return policy. And within Dawn, the only option is to link it to a page. So let's say I'm gonna link it to the About Us page. Just as an example, if we now click on this link, it opens this page like this. And that's the only option. There are no other alternatives here. If we take a look at the Horizon template, if we click the pop-up link here, so first of all, we can also use the drawer. So if we now click this link, it opens in a drawer. Secondly, we can add blocks inside this pop-up link. So we can edit this text, as you can see. If we click the plus icon, we can also use the AI generate block inside the pop-up link if we wanna do that. Also, there are way more options. So again, the only option inside the Dawn template is to link it to a page. You can do that here as well inside the Horizon, but there are way more options as you can see. Then another example, if we go back to the homepage, so this is the Horizon template. So on the homepage, we have the product list. And as you can see, Horizon shows color swatches, which is a nice touch that lets visitors preview the different color options without clicking through the actual product. So this is the Dawn template, and this is not possible within the Dawn template. And I can go on and on. There are many more examples, but you get the idea. So then a quick note on the collection page. I'm not gonna do a deep dive here, but the Horizon collection pages look cleaner and offer better filter and sorting options than Dawn. So here we can see the Horizon templates. It's just a little bit cleaner. So we have four items, sort, and then we can click on sort where we can sort on the products. So this is the Dawn template. It says sort by, and then we have to click on this here where we can sort on best selling or price or whatever. Horizon looks cleaner. Same here with the filter options. Not a big deal, but those tiny things add up. So the conclusion, if you're building a new store, I would go with Horizon. If you're still running Dawn on your current store, like me with my online dog training business, then it's totally fine too.